greetings. We can only be who we think we are. Simple. When we go about our journey or live our lives, there will be some things that change and some things that appear to remain the same. But the power that we have in choice can be understated. It can be underappreciated. If we desire to live in a way that the outside world validates, there will consistently be something missing because change is always present. But when we live in a way that validates our own ideas of who we are, and those ideas give us peace, show grace, and allow us to extend that peace and grace to the outside world. And then we found something worth nourishing. Because as long as we allow the outside world to be in control of how we choose to maneuver, we will always live in a reactionary state. But to choose how we will be, to choose who we will be, to choose what we will and will not entertain, to choose what we will and will not participate in and find peace in simply making the choice. It doesn't matter what the outside world thinks. It doesn't matter how the outside world responds. We're simply empowered by the choice. We find peace in simply making the choice. So we become the cause and no longer the aftermath of the effect. Yeah, it starts with us and it's beautiful because in doing so we begin to see not only the ramifications of the choices that we make but we also begin to see from a different lens we begin to understand that everyone else is doing the exact same they're operating with that choice whether they understand it or not and what we can see from that perspective then we can also see when some aren't aware yet. That's fine. It's not about judging. Nah. Because I have moments throughout my day, each and every day, where I slip up. It's okay. It's about bouncing back. It's about changing direction. It's about uh, correcting the path. You're focusing more on what I do desire, what I do love, what I do appreciate. And more and more so each day, it becomes clear. The small choices, it doesn't have to be huge. It doesn't have to be, I, I have to be a, a multimillionaire now. I have to be the most popular person now. Oh, that's... <laughs> It's not about that. I myself don't care about popularity. That's not a focus of mine. But for those who do focus on that aspect, by all means, seek it. Millions? Okay. I don't need it. Now nah, I embrace it. But as of where I am right now in my life, no, I live very comfortably. And that's from changing the way that I see my life, that I see my perspective, that I see, that I see my journey. We all still have things that will trip us up at times. I just want to remind you of the power that you have in your choices. Yeah, somebody might cut you off in traffic. You choose how you respond. You might do something or say something that's uh, not so pleasant. Or you might shrug it off and say, they in a hurry. Or you might not even think twice about it. You might simply enjoy with what you're listening to on the radio. All these things mean something. Each and everything, each and every choice, each and every thought. So it's not about perfectly thinking positive. No, 
It's about understanding that each and every moment is an opportunity to think better. To think in a more desirable state. And I, I myself know that along my journey, there have been times where I've had to drastically course correct. And instead of beating myself up for that, I just pat myself on the back. And you know what? Did a lot better than last time. But it took you a couple years to see that coming. Would it take you a couple of months to understand that change need to happen? Sometimes it only takes two seconds. Sometimes I don't even think about it. I simply know where to go, how to move. That's it's not with all things. I don't have it all figured out. I just realized that it's okay to not be perfect, but trust in who you are. Even when I share these videos, it this truthfully started off because I was in a dark place in my life. And I didn't have anybody to discuss some of these topics with. But over time, I did find some assistance. And then through that assistance, I found myself. And in doing that, it helped me want to share some of my journey to help others find their self. It's not about me getting praise. Nah. This is about me reminding you as well as myself that the power of choice is unmatched. You can live how you want to live. When you think about how you live, when you think about the desires and the dreams that you have, don't talk to yourself about what everybody else is going to think. No. Embrace what you see for yourself and move towards that. That's all that matters. And at some point, unbeknownst to you, you'll realize that you are where you want, where you once dreamed to be. It's simple. Not always easy though. <laughs> and that's all right. Be kind to yourself. Appreciate yourself. And if you're not willing to do it for yourself, don't expect the outside world to do it. Better yet, even when you do appreciate yourself, don't expect the outside world to do it. It's an inside job. So you might as well appreciate who you are. Be grateful for your choices. Even be grateful for the hardships of the past. Because sometimes, most times, we had to go through certain experiences to understand what we did not want anymore. We didn't even realize that we chose it. That's okay. Some situations are outside of our control. That's okay. But we have to go through that experience to understand that aspect. Because once we realize what is within our control, we choose different. Be kind to yourself. Love yourself. Give grace. Don't worry about that outside work. It's all you, and you got this. Till next time.